Hello YouTube, Jack Lair here again. Just going over some pickups that I picked up over the past uh, week. Just going to start out real quick. I also have a package at the end and a shout out for who actually caused the pickup pack. Anyways. Um, first thing is I was happened to be uh, at Half Price Books and I own a Mac and I also found two games from my favorite series, Tomb Raider for the Mac. And these are both a dollar each. Tomb Raider 2, which is actually in just a generic case. But I really don't care because I just want to play the game. I uh, also picked up uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles, the game disc. And the weird thing is, is because they didn't know that there were, there was the game disc and then the editor disc, they were charging a dollar for each of them. So I decided I didn't really want the editor disc because I just want to play the game because I love Tomb Raiders. And the funny thing is, is that if you go online, it'll tell you that this won't play on modern Macs, yet I have it playing on my Mac that I bought two months ago. So who knows? And if you hear cats trying to kill each other in the background, World War III is about to start between two of my cats. Um, from a uh, movie trading company, picked up uh, Light Crusader. And my friend uh, and I were taking a look at it, and it's it actually looks really fun. Uh, it's a, an RPG, and your talk and your attack button are the same thing, but whenever you swing your sword near somebody, it has an oops that shows up, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, another one that I picked up in my... I seem to be addicted to horrible shooters on Nintendo consoles, so I picked up uh, Armorines. And there's a subtitle, uh, Project Swarm, and it's S period, W period, A period, R period, M period. So, be taking a look at that. Uh, also, now, uh, back to Half Price Books. Uh, there, the other systems have better games, but as far as the Dreamcast, they're just, they're just, I don't know. It's like, it's like the Volkswagen Beetle of the car, of the video game industry. You see one, and you know you're like, wow, that's a Beetle. I love those cars. And you don't really know why. You don't want to own one. And you're not really sure why you would drive it, but you still love them. Uh, so I ended up getting a uh, Championship Surfer for a dollar as well. Uh, and this one actually has complete. So that was actually kind of cool to come across it. It was complete until he dropped it all over the floor. Butterfingers me. Now, uh, moving on to the PlayStation. Now, uh, PlayStation 1 is... I'm going back and playing those because I never actually owned a PlayStation. I owned a Nintendo 64 and then a Saturn. Don't ask me how that happened. But uh, then I bought a PlayStation very much later. And I picked up this because, oddly enough... The Intellivision is what my wife had. So we were going through the collection of old games, and it's got 30 different games in it. Most of them are kind of... eh. But then we did play uh, Space Armada and Astro Smash, and we played some of the driving ones. There was one that was real fun. I can't remember what it is. It was Astro Smash. That, I'll show a video of that, because that's, that's priceless. Now, um, a while ago, I picked up... Um, oh, what the heck is it called? Gun Con. I picked up a Gun Con. But, didn't have a game to be able to test it. Managed to pick up this. Gunfighter Legend of Jesse James from... Uh, movie trading company once again. So now I can test out the gun con. And this actually looks like a pretty fun game. 3D light gun shooter. And it was one of the ones that didn't really seem to be getting that much love. And I love the obscure ones. Um, back to Half Price Books uh, and moving on to the Xbox. Picked up Scooby Doo, Mystery Mayhem. Son's a big Scooby Doo fan, so I figured we can sit and play this. And. 
It actually came complete, which I'm kind of impressed with. Not too used to seeing. Usually at the Xbox, some of something's missing on them. Don't know what it is. Uh, picked up Breakdown, Movie Trading Company, on sale, two ninety nine. Don't remember it, but paranormal first person shooter. I'm sold. I can't tell from Geist. And this one I'm 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 torn about. Because I actually found these, and I don't know how common or rare they are. I just decided that I wanted it, so I picked it up. This is Halo Combat Evolved for the Xbox. And the funny thing is that I bought it brand new sealed. So I don't know if I just throw it on the shelf and pick up a crap copy of Halo somewhere, or if I open it up and go ahead and play the nice new copy. Whichever. Now, uh, uh, shout out to my friend Tanner, who uh, we made uh, another trade again. I ended up picking him up. Uh, he was looking for the NES Max. I don't know if any of you know what that looks like, but it was a weird controller for the Nintendo with a slidey... <sighs> Whatever. You, you, you know it when you see it. And we realized that when we were kids, the controller like fit in our hands. But now that we're adults, I mean, it looks like a, 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 a gorilla trying to do needlepoint playing with that thing. I mean, it just looks... Anyways... So I gave him that, and he uh, gave me Robocop for the NES, because he knows that uh, I'm a Robocop fan, and I'm super excited about the statue being built in Detroit. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Take that. You've got a boxer. You've got a cyborg with a gun. And a policeman to boot. Uh, and he also gave me uh, Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. Because he knows that I'm trying to collect uh, the GameCube games. And my collection is kind of growing. Uh, speaking of which, I've actually found a really nice way to work uh, Google Docs. is actually the way that I'm now tracking all of my games. And I've got filters and sheets and all kinds of fun stuff that's going on. And it's an amazing thing. Once I get it done done, I'll go ahead and uh, put it on my website somewhere. And that way, anybody who wants to can go ahead and use it. And basically what I do is I have three three things that I rate the games on. Um, I say whether they're, whether they're, whether I own them, yes or no. Whether they're complete, loose, uh, and boxed. Because I have a few boxed games that don't have the manual, so, eh. And I also have a listing for the games that I have beat. That way I can keep track of the games that I actually need to find. And for some of the games like Animal Crossing, I've labeled as infinite because there is no end. Much like Madden, there's no real end to that game, so you just kind of keep going. Uh, one of the things that I picked up, uh, my wife and I watched this movie and we both absolutely loved it. It's called The Ugly Truth. Uh, three bucks, half price books. Couldn't pass it up. And this is one that I ordered. I ordered when I used to work there, and it finally came in. And people might hate me for this, but this is the the Andy Sedaris collection, twelve film set, girls, guns, and G strings. And this, man, if you are a fan of horrible, horrible eighties movies. This is the collection for you. And I've got that, and hopefully I can... I'll be able to watch some of those. Anyways, that's it for uh, the games and stuff. Now, I did also get... A lovely little box. From eBay. Now, let's go ahead... And let me move this real quick. Now, I have to give... A shout out to Luke because he goes to he's over in Japan and he goes to a a, a, a shop called Hard Off and lately we always went there for video game parts but lately he's been stopping by and kind of panning over a certain section 
And it got me more and more curious. And the more you would pan over it, the more I'd be like, oh, oh, I want that one and 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 two of those. So I finally uh, found something local and then uh, hopped online and ended up picking up a few more. And some of you might know what it is by now if you watch Luke's channel at all. And I'll put a link somewhere of one of the swap suits. And I bought uh, uh, peanuts, stuff from peanuts. Because, you know, uh, that's all he does is wander around the store and uh, film those things. No, seriously, let me see if I can. safe from these things. If you ever see what comes out the other end, it's more protecting myself. And I just ruined it, I think. But, ta-da! Go the other way. It's easier. Now, you may be thinking, what? You bought the soundtrack, but these are actually laser discs, kids. And these are giant 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 discs and I got all of these for I believe around like 12 bucks and I got a racer uh, universal soldier rumble in the Bronx never ending story 2 he didn't have one so I got two instead and <laughs> judge dread uh, judge I don't know why I got judge dread because it's a horrible movie all the video games are horrible. The comic book's the only redeeming thing, and I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the actual game's gonna suck. But let me go ahead and pop this out here, just to show you what it looks like. And this kid's this is what a laser disc looks like. And it's giant, and it goes right up there with uh, my LPs. Yes, I still have them. Yes, they're better than CDs. Blah blah blah. Uh, go ahead and fight in the comments. Anyways, but uh, the reason that I started picking these up is that I'm uh, I listen to a podcast called Film Sack, and it's done by Scott Johnson on the Frog Pants Network. Uh, go Scott, go Randy, everybody, uh, Brian and Brian, whatever. Um, and I started. I'm going to start collecting as many laser discs as I can that are not ridiculously priced from the film sack episodes. Now I've also picked up, uh, the first one I picked up because it was the cheapest was The Big Blue. And if you've never seen this movie, it's actually really good. It's about uh, professional divers and uh, Rosanna Arquette, which is always a good... Anyways, uh, Top Gun, which my son of course had to comment, Dad, why are these guys always naked in the same room together? And going back and watching it, there's a lot of that. Because there's the, there's the locker room scene, the other locker room scene, the, the volleyball scene where everybody's half naked and you can't figure out why, why you have to get half naked to play sports. And of course I got the amazing Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat I also have the... Uh, the soundtrack for so uh, that's all uh, I've managed to pick up uh, I may be finding more but I'm trying to start uh, get a little more focused on what I'm getting uh, a few of the games I'm really looking for is uh, Super Bomberman for the Super Nintendo because of course I, great game um, and I'm also uh, still on the lookout for War Song for the Genesis, and if I can ever find that for a decent price, or a reasonable price, yeah. let me save that for another video. 
But uh, War Song was a game that I played ages and ages and ages and ages and ages and ages ago. And I'm just really looking forward to playing it again. And I don't want to play it on emulation because I've found that a lot of the nostalgia for me is attached to the controller. And playing a Genesis game on an Xbox controller plugged into my Mac just ugh, feels wrong. But uh, uh, that's it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And play on.